Hey, I'm Dan from Real Max Software, and welcome to the first public developer diary for RapidWeaver Elements. Now, previously, we've been doing these privately for just members in Club Elements, but this year we're deciding to mix things up and publish these publicly every week on YouTube. So you can follow along and see how we're getting on building our next generation website builder, RapidWeaver Elements. Now, if you haven't seen the other videos, we've now made all of those public on YouTube so you can pick back through and see which features you're interested in and kind of check in and have a little browse around and, and see how the development has been going on Elements if you've not been following along. So this video, I'm gonna follow straight on from the last video we did last year and talk more about responsive breakpoints and the customizations you can do. So let's open up Rapid Weaver. Uh, here we are, Rapid Weaver Elements. And I've got this basic website here that I've built. And well, I'm in the process of building it anyway. So I've just got a header section here. So section, I've got some flex boxes and I've got a couple of uh, headings. So right now it's nice and responsive. Nothing changes, but it's, uh, it's a good start. And what I'm thinking, when we go up to these bigger sizes, I actually want the text to get bigger. Um, but before we get to that, there's changes I also want to make to the container. Um, because when I'm at these larger sizes, I want the site to kind of come in a little bit. I don't want it to run to the edge anymore because I think I might want to curve the banner. But let me go, let me show you, let me show you in screen. So this is the theme studio here and I've got my responsive breakpoint set up and I can toggle these on and off and I can obviously change the sizes of them. And you'll notice when I toggle these, uh, it changes up here, but we want all these ones on because uh, otherwise it wouldn't be much of a demo. So at the moment they're all set to 100% and that means the site's gonna stretch to 100% uh, of the view. But when we get up to this medium size I'm actually, and, and, and larger, I'm actually going to set the view width to 80. Uh, let, me just bring, let, me, let me just bring this up. So you can see here, um, when I go to this size, it goes to 80. And when I go back to the largest size, it's at 100 still, but I want that to be 80 as well. So now you can see full width there, next size, and then it's 80% on the view width. And that's really great. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I could have chosen to do a percentage or a pixel width. Uh, like, let me show you, on, like on the mobile, if I choose pixels and you know set it to 300, when I go down to the mobile size there, you can see it jumps right in. Um, and I can easily customize that, you know, 450 there, 200, but, you know, that's not what I want. I actually want it 100% there. So we'll leave it on that. But now, oops, now we've got, uh, now we've got this set up how I like it. Uh, and I'm going to come back to this because I want to do some more changes there. But let's sort out the text. So right now, when I come here, what we want to do, I want this text to be uh, larger when we get to this size. So let's go five. Great, uh, actually, let me switch that back. What I need to do, I need to hit this dot here and that will override the style size when I, when I get to this break point. So when we get to this larger size, I want to override this and we'll go to five. So now on the smaller sizes, you can see there and we jump to a larger font size and we're coming in there and that's looking good. And let's make this larger as well a little bit. Uh, we'll go to 2x and I want that to be centered. So we will want to align that center and let's just do that one as well. So now uh, my text is left aligned. Uh, let's make that a bit bigger just so you can see. So my text is left aligned on these smaller sizes, but when I go up to this big size, it's now center aligned and, uh, and in this new banner. And so let's, um, I wanna make some changes to this banner. So I've got the, I've highlighted the selection here. And what I want to do is I want to put some margin when we get to here. So I'm going to do that one and some margin at the top. And I can just, you know, this is easy. I can just scroll this up and down. Um, on here, I could also, we talked about this in previous videos, but I could have used our spacing presets I have here. Um, 
let me show you if I just toggle that on then I could use these spacing presets but I don't want to do that we're just uh, I'm manually doing this uh, let's just move that to 70 or 60 that's looking good and I also want to add a border radius there that's looking pretty nice um, in fact let me bring that back up a bit let me bring that back up you know this is how easy this stuff is to change and I think I actually want that on 90 so I can do that there we are so now um, on these larger sizes I've got this nice curved banner with this larger center text and when I go down to the smaller mobile devices it's full width and the text is left aligned because that obviously works better there on mobile and you can see you can watch these as I jump up and there we are and I can click these as well so I can jump to any of these sizes and just like that and it's it's such a nice way to design and this is so powerful you know I don't we've obviously looked at other web design apps and we think the way we've implemented this is uh, is just really, uh, really intuitive. And it's so lovely to work with here on the on the Mac desktop. So I'm going to wrap up the video for this week, but I hope that's given you kind of a little glimpse of what we've been working on this um, past week. And I'll be back next week with another video to show you what's new in Rapid Weaver Elements. So if you're watching this on YouTube, do remember to subscribe to our channel so you can get notifications on updates um, and follow along. Yeah, all right, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.